So as uh, obviously as a California coming into Hawaii men's volleyball and everything, I want to the big thing that I mean we don't have I guess Chad Giesman he's from Hawaii I don't I don't think he's actually Hawaiian though I'm not I'm not sure I didn't I haven't asked him but well how do you guys think because like the big thing there is like representing Hawaii the culture et cetera et cetera what's your guys' opinion on Hawaii men's volleyball um, do you think they represent it do they piss you off or just what are your overall feelings on I mean brute uh, d- don't hold back at all because like. Like just because I'm a member or was a member doesn't mean I want to hear you guys' honest opinion about this. Michael, what you laughing at, Mike? What you you're the guest, at, Mike? Mike. You're the what guest, you Mike. What are you talking about? Go ahead. Uh, have, have you got to know before. your opinion. Have you talked about this before? No, we've never talked about this. Oh, we've okay, but I want to hear it. No, no. I actually want to hear it. I mean, some of my how do I say this? Some of my more confrontational experiences. With vol- on the college men's volleyball court have come with UH men's volleyball. And a lot of that is rooted in the conversation that we're having. Um, there was one time where, I'm not naming, I'm not naming any names, um, where UH came to California and I think Kupono's told this before because Kupono was there. Um, and and a uh, UH volleyball player started talking trash. That non-Hawaiian, not from Hawaii, started talking trash because one of our players that was from Hawaii got subbed out, taken out of the game because uh, for a myriad of reasons. But whatever, I don't know which one it was, but not for a positive <laughs> one. And started talking like, oh yeah, there goes one local boy or something like that. And that I flip a switch because that's you're in a moment, you're in a competitive moment, you're in a you're in the arena to battle. And, and for so those that don't know, Micah, I feel like even in high school, it was chippy. Micah was like a chippier guy, like that people didn't really know that is chippy. This guy was, and in college, like this guy was a little chippy, bro. I remember when he used to. Yeah, never mind. Continue your story. No, no, no. I mean, it's the truth, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm not like run in from it but yeah that's stuff there's certain things that i don't let fly and that stuff um what if you cross a certain line with me then you've crossed it and there's no going back and we're going to talk about it whether it be after the game or wherever you want to talk about it we're going to talk about it however you want to talk about it but um and so that <laughs> that was that I, to answer your question gauge it varies it varies mm-hmm. in terms from player to player, right? I think totally. a lot of players have incredible respect for the culture, that embrace the culture, that love to that love to even perpetuate the culture, right? Like you can represent Hawaii as a state and even as a culture everywhere you go. And I think that's a wonderful thing that UH men's volleyball can do. But I also think that it's important to have some education of of Hawaiian culture of what is and what, what isn't, um, I don't want to say acceptable, but, um, I can't think of a word like more encouraged by maybe the Hawaiian people of let's not get this facade that all of a sudden you're native Hawaiian now or you you know you've put in your hours to represent hawaii in a certain way and so i think there's a role that can be played that's wonderful i think uh i think uh does that with a ton of their sports that it's a role that that um that you can take but i think the understanding of that role of like we represent hawaii we represent uh um but we don't necessarily represent the people of hawaii because we just moved there six months ago. And so once I am able to understand the culture and really take it like, look, I don't come to Russia and be like, like, let's go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I love it. Like I represent Zenikazan and all the people here and blah, blah, blah. Like I'm here trying to learn. I'm trying to respectfully, like not ruffle any feathers, learn the language as little as I can, but like, do it in a respectful way. And I think that 
has been executed by a ton of UH men's volleyball players and UH athletes in general. Colt Brennan yeah. represented Hawaii super well, but but never, I don't think ever crossed the line. He understood his role and what he could do. And so there's certain situations. That situation that I talked about on the court was was not one of my best, but also something that that bothers me of like, like all of a sudden you've assumed the role of the of the local boy from Hawaii and now you're able to talk to guys that have spent, you know, their whole like, grown up and spent their whole lives there and like almost talk down to somebody like that. Like we're we're a prideful people. And yeah, that's what it, I have I have something it. I think and we're not that I think level. might might sum it up too is that like while you were talking I was trying to think of my answer and part of it was um, like humility is probably hand in hand with respect in Hawaii yes. is yes. the most important values that we have. And when a UH player that's not from Hawaii or isn't Hawaiian, like start when that limelight starts to be pointed at himself instead of with humility of like, yeah, we, we play for UH and like we have a lot of great things. Hawaii is amazing. But once that like starts to like try and he's like he is bigger than Hawaii or the place or that he is the star of the show and like starts making things about more about that person or that individual than the culture itself or then then that's when I kind of like that's I think when it starts to irk me a little bit. When like somebody thinks that they are bigger than they are and like starts, it starts to have when it's, there's a lack of humility. Like if you do it with humility, I think Cole Brennan was like, he's a pretty soft spoken guy. Like he was never with his actions. He wasn't, but like, I feel like he was always like pretty cool and humble dude, but he was a baller. And like, there was no Hawaii, like when Colt Brennan, Jason Rivers, uh, Devon Bess, CJ Hawthorne, those guys are running the show. There was no Hawaii like that. Like every house had a Hawaii flag, and oh, so, game so time, crazy. game time. There was nobody out. Like that was, man. R.I.P. to Cole Brandon. That was he changed Hawaii for like, like he made Hawaii boys see a Hawaii that didn't we didn't know existed. Um, yup, this is pretty not, special. And where is he from? Yeah, and he's Somewhere and he's else. from Cali. And, and so from, like. Or, yeah cali or nevada or something like that i don't know but that's a role that's a role that was assumed by him that brought so much like not not only exposure but also hope and an example to hawaiian boys and girls yeah yeah that guy was dude that guy is like gotta be one of the the number the the best one of the best freaking hawaiian like hawaii athletes for our generation like yeah like that was it was gnarly how big of an impact he had but I still, was, I think I still have some Allstate Sugar Bowl t-shirts. Bro, I can't. Bro, how you rocking Bulldogs? that, don't bro? That was tough. That, that was the toughest. It. I don't want to watch. I want to wear the Everybody U-Dub shirt shirts. where we came back. I was like, bro. <laughs> the Sugar Bowl wasn't uh, <laughs> The Sugar, sugar bowl, bowl wasn't our finest moment. Our O-line. Oh, was it Georgia? Decided. It was Georgia, right? Georgia. Yeah. yeah, it was Georgia. Going up to the Sugar Bowl, finest moment. Oh yeah, we are we are when that game started, feeling ourselves. We're like, oh, <laughs> SEC boys, you guys are gonna get some cracks. <laughs> and then it was like, oh wow, this is different level. <laughs> These are men. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we. College. Oh wow. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. We'll, we'll come back home. I think he's a pretty good example for me of like oh, he's, the right way yeah. to do it. You know. Oh yeah, he's and one so, of the best. There are there are wrong ways to do it, but it's all a learning process. Right. And so, and then I, for me, it's more important to educate people about it rather than um, like demean people or like judge people on it. Of like, because I think once people understand, totally, they totally. have this like incredible respect and um, humility, like you said, Mike, about it. But I think it does, it does take time. It's, it's not easy to go to Hawaii for one year and be like, I get it. Like it's, I think, I think yeah, it's yeah. very impossible. So it takes, well, some on this, it takes some immersion. 